I need you to shut up for five fucking minutes and listen to me. Thank you. Or not, thank you, but okay, I see that you are making an effort there. And I see that, and I feel bad that I just swore at you, but I'm not sorry. Because you know why, you know why, you know why. I've had epiphanies before, over and over, and they never lead to change. They feel like they're gonna, they feel so dazzling, like the whole world is being transformed and nothing will ever be the same. And then everything is the same. But, but, but. I've been reading this series of seafaring books, Napoleonic Wars, battles and shipwrecks and scurvy and weather, mostly weather, so much weather. And while they're out at sea, despite the battles and the shipwrecks and the weather and all that, they are, I don't know, it's in a crazy way, they're safe. They're free. And when they're on land, everything is hard and confusing and messy and distressing and dangerous in a whole other way that is obscure and, and, and dirty, it leaves them smudged. And when they have a ship again and are flying out of the harbor, all sails billowing out, they are so, so relieved. And I'm relieved too. Let's go risk our lives in the clean sea air where we know what we're doing and we all walk together. And if someone falls overboard, we stop everything to save them. And sometimes we sing, we all sing a hymn on Sundays and work songs when we're working and sea shanties on a fine, calm, starlit night with a phosphorescent sea whispering along the prow. I woke up this morning and I knew something. I knew something new. You are the land. You are the motherfucking land, and I need to be at sea. I need to slip my cables. That means you don't even take time to pull up the anchor. You cut it loose and run. I need to slip my cables and set all sails and ride the tide out to the open waters, to miles of leeway, to wild seas and high winds and clear sailing. And I want to say, come with me. I want to say, let's go to sea together. I want to say that even now. Even now. Even though. And the epiphany whispers, fuck that. And a blazing joy shoots up my spine and I run away to sea forever. <laughs>